Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty soon. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to Tales from the Forgotten Troop. We're back with more sad vampire boyfriend. Um, there are, if you'd like to help support the show, there are a couple ways you can do so. One is by using the Hero Forge affiliate link in our Twitch About section or the YouTube description. Or you can become a member on our coffee and get access to exclusive content which is always awesome and fun. And you can use that to pretend to be better than everyone else. <laughs> it's true. We will think you're better than everyone else. Yes, we do actually. <laughs> yeah. The criteria is give us money. Yes. <laughs> pretty, pretty low bar. <laughs> really low bar. Yeah, an incredibly low bar. <laughs> if you are For watching... Time. Yeah, yeah, a five dollar bar. <laughs> yeah, five dollars. <laughs> if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, you can join us live every week on Twitch, typically on Tuesdays at seven PM Eastern. But sometimes we have extra things going around, going around, going on. <laughs> <laughs> what goes around comes not. around. <laughs> yeah. Only good things going around. Only good things. Um, you can find our usual murmurings of what's going on on Twitch or in our Discord, or you can follow us on Twitter um, and get all the fun notifications. T- turn, on, turn on the Twitter notifications. You'll have a great time. <laughs> smash that bell. <laughs> Go buy a bell and smash it. <laughs> Try it. With a, yeah. with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. and then we'll it. hear it. Ding and dong, tell you when we're live. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and then post the picture of the smashed bell on Twitter and tag us, yes. so we can yes. see proof <laughs> that you did as you were told. This is interesting. It's important, otherwise we'll send Tori after you. <laughs> she is uh, sleep deprived and cranky from the last episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, dangerous Poor girl, dangerous. Um. So we a great can, time for a sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fun little hotel sleepover. That's going to be totally normal and not have any angst at all. No eggs. No, no eggs. eggs. Oh my so God. Eggs. Eggs. Yes, ghosts. <laughs> yes, ghosts, though. Yes. Yes, ghosts. Yeah. So I'm going to be the ghost during the sleepover. That's <laughs> 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 not seeing those things. <laughs> But we can uh, go around and have everyone introduce yourselves and the question I would like you all to answer this week. If um, your character is chosen to represent their country in a global competition, what sport or activity are they doing? I gotta do some Googling. (laughs) No, I don't. Never mind. (laughs) <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for the answers. Um, well, since you thought you had to think about it and then you didn't, Lee, why don't you go first? <laughs> yeah, I impale some people. <laughs> it's his name. <laughs> yeah, jousting. We'll call it jousting. jousting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and who are you? I play Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> who are you again? And what are you doing in the Zoom meeting? <laughs> uh, who are you and why are you? What are you even <laughs> doing if you're not impaling us all? <laughs> 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 sure. Okay. We'll say jousting. All right. <laughs> jousting with some totally accidental accidents. There's nothing accidental about him. <laughs> Officer, he just fell onto the point of my lance. What was I supposed to do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think after we started that. Oh, it's solid. <laughs> Why? All right, oh, Michael. I've never been <laughs> We just oh, have to no. get Michael into the jousting. Then it'll be fine. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, speaking of Michael, Maria, <laughs> she like to go next. Um, I'm Maria. I play Michael. 
and I couldn't pick a sport. So we're just going to go with hockey because I'm wearing my Red Wings jersey, which is a Detroit team, not a Boston team. Damn it. <laughs> Boston's got Damn the it. Bruins. Shut up. Oh, called out. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, hot, hot. You're news. Canadian. I'm not a I don't know the sports puck game, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm my... Canadian. I don't Damn understand it. hockey. I should know this because my, my brother Howe was jersey. a big Red Wings fan. <laughs> I really should know this and did not. Oh, man. <laughs> Just all red in a, in a vague wing shape. I don't know. It seems like me. my best. Boston, right? It's ball jersey. Like the, it's got a B on it. <laughs> For Boston. Listen. Listen. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, Jenna. I mean, it has a C on it for Detroit. So, so C for Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Amarantha would do chess. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, like okay. chess the musical mm-hmm. like 3d no! chess <laughs> <laughs> like the board game <laughs> like chess is in Maria's chess. jersey chess, is in her- <laughs> chess the musical yeah. based on chess the board game the board. Board. Sorry, based no. on 3d chess <laughs> and Dina oh Menzel God. and Josh Rogan yeah. did a film anyways <laughs> <laughs> and soon to be chess the movie Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we'll get chess the tv sh- chess the, the musical the series Remick, it's you a are real thing <laughs> what? It's, a, it's a real musical it's a real musical <laughs> <laughs> it's existed in my brain no 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 wait did you make it up really wait real. no <laughs> it's a real musical <laughs> there's some good numbers okay oh, all right um We'll we'll just table that for now. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. That's for the Kofi for later. <laughs> yes. Discussions yes. of chess, the musical. Yeah. Yeah. Amarantha <laughs> would play chess. Uh, <laughs> yep. Closing that Google. Close that. Amarantha Leave. would kill a chess. <laughs> yeah. uh, Strip chess. Re- <laughs> Strip chess. <laughs> She killed that too. She's very good at it. Dang, Aurelio! <laughs> wait, if, you're, wait. <laughs> if you want her to strip, all you gotta do if is say losing so. Then. <laughs> or beat her in chest. <laughs> you want the chest? <laughs> I haven't even had caffeine today. I have no excuse. <laughs> I'm Brianna. I play Tori. If uh, Tori was representing her country in a sport, it would probably be, let's say, beach volleyball. Because I want to say mm. she can do a spike that's given someone a concussion at least five times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Double digits, probably. Okay. And she's, <laughs> she's got to be in the teeny tiny bikini bottoms. Oh, yes. Oh, the little the booty, <laughs> shorts. booty shorts. Yeah. yeah. yeah those are better, yeah. actually. Okay. Booty shorts, sports bra. Did they, there was um, some controversy of. Anyways. <laughs> there is like, always controversy. I mean, aesthetically. Oops, all tangents. Know. I'm too many tangents. <laughs> Roll 2D tangent. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oops, all tangents. Okay. Let's see if we can finally wrap this up. Remick. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Remick. That's, yep. Uh, I play Aurelio. <laughs> and I think Aurelio, literally, this is the thought that popped into my head the moment you asked the question. And it is uh, figure skating. Doubles <laughs> figure skating. <laughs> because the cravat. That's yeah. amazing. Because right. Vladimir is also from Romania. <laughs> it's just Yuri on ice, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. That's it. Yeah. That's yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> meeting. Okay. Leave yeah, meeting. Yeah. Leave meeting. That's yeah. my time. That's <laughs> it. Thank you. So we got See time you all for next week. Wow, yeah. Great. Great episode. <laughs> uh, great episode. Yeah. This sounds like Mario music. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. Peach, peach. Or what do we? <laughs> I don't You're know. You're driving in the car. Yes, you are driving in the car. Um, and now that you've had a little bit of time to catch your breath and uh, relax slightly. Mm-hmm. Um, Aurelio. Uh oh, you oh, shit. notice <laughs> that there is something in your pocket. Ah, uh, I take it out. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the car? What's in your pocket? What's in my pocket? What's okay, you find, you find a little, 
um, find a little wrapped box. And let me, if I can do this quickly, I'll, I'll try to do this quickly. Uh, let me send a picture to Discord. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, the box. I'm becoming more and more concerned. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, no. I'm scared. The box contains lots of chocolates. This is the box. <laughs> it's wrapped in a nice little paper wrapping with a oh, piece of twine and a tag. Okay. okay. Um, Jenna, would you care to tell us what the tag says? <laughs> no, I think Rulio should tell us what the tag says. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I don't know what character voice to do this in. Uh, <laughs> it says, Aurelio, my friend, the things that make us imperfect do not make us inadequate. We love you just the way you are, cravats and all. Sweet. Yeah, I I will open it. <laughs> okay. You open it and find a lovely little cravat. <laughs> <laughs> that they know. It's a nice a nice blue with some uh white flowers and vines for everyone who cannot see the picture. Looks like Van Gogh is a uh... Cherry blossom painting. Cute. Or almond blossom. So cute. And a pocket square. How do you know all this? No, just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was in my Mystery. pocket. Samantha's <laughs> <laughs> busy driving. I can see out the back of my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, so, yeah, I, I think Aurelio kind of opens it and like furtively glancing around at like the people in the sky. <laughs> kind of, like, Just singing yeah, along like, to whatever pop bubblegum pop is on the radio. Badly. Yeah. <laughs> I believe Michael is sleeping on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Covered in wrapping paper. Vlad is staring off into space. <laughs> He's on his phone. <laughs> yes, yes. Good. No, yeah, just, just sleeping. <laughs> It's because it, it's not signed, right? Nope. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, just kind of furtively glancing around and then like kind of touch, just like puts it back in the box, puts it back in his pocket for later. Just, oh, A mystery, a mystery. Mystery. <laughs> a mystery. To unravel. A mystery, mystery. To unravel. Who could it be? <laughs> Who could have done this? Who could have done I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Um, as for the rest of your trip, since you're driving down to Boston, is there anything anyone like anyone would like to do or discuss? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> you can go first. Oh, it's okay. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I. Uh, Vlad wants to send a text to Amarantha so that she can like she's look driving? at it after she's, she's done driving. <laughs> That's like, wow, we're not promoting safe driving. No, habits don't here. look at it. Yet. She can't. Car, she can't even look at it. Not she's driving mode. a stick shift. Yes. She needs both yeah. hands to drive. Yeah. This is more like so when you yeah when you're done you can look at it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can read it now, or you can I can read it when you're. You can read it when I open it. How okay. about that? Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Um, Amarantha will ask if we want to stop somewhere to grab like necessities or if we want to just order them to the room. If it's how late is it? Mm, at this point, because we were like we're probably getting into late afternoon, early evening, like maybe four or five o'clock. Oh, we have plenty of time. Oh, really? I thought we were in the woods that night with Bellaby nope. and everyone. No, it was during the day. Like, the oh, okay. um, it sort of gave the impression of nighttime because clouds. It became like sort of overcast, <laughs> and it became dark. Okay. Yeah. Because there were ghosts, it always feels like nighttime. Yeah, it felt like nighttime. <laughs> yeah. It was spooky, and, and there's a vampire. <laughs> it's very yeah. spooky. 
Very <laughs> spooky. I mean, technically there were <laughs> a and bunch of vampires. vampires so. That's the joke, yeah. Charlie. <laughs> and two ghosts. No. And a witch. It always makes the joke extra <laughs> funny when you have to That's explain it. the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, we should we we should definitely stop somewhere if we're going to be staying overnight. Okay. Any requests at where we stop? Target it is. <laughs> oh no. We've been there for hours. No. $5,000 later. Yeah. What did we come here for? <laughs> oh, we need toothpaste still. Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> we go to Target. Mm-hmm. Okay. We go to Target. You can go to Target and get. Is Tori yeah. still passed out? I think Tori will probably wake up if the car stops. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go into Target, Tori, or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like shakes it out and just ugh, stands up. Okay. Stretches. Um. Does a whole thing and it's very tits on display and it doesn't look like she's necessarily doing it on purpose, but she's also not not doing it on purpose. <laughs> not yeah. In between. <laughs> now now that the car her baseline. <laughs> now that the car stopped like tits. Yep, yep. Yep. Egon perks up and is like, where is this place? Egon, I was actually gonna have you stay and watch the car. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Because ghosts don't need things at the store. It's hard. If you can be very quiet, you can sit in my pocket. What if something Do you want to see Target? But Yiga needs to see Target. Okay, fine. We'll bring a ghost into Target. Jeez. Yay. <laughs> that was <laughs> definitely out of character. Bring the ghost into Target. Yiga turns invisible. Nice. Fine. We're bringing a ghost into Target. Let's go. We'll this just is gonna be Tori check the engine before we leave. <laughs> okay. I am going to double check the engine just to make sure there's no signs of sabotage. Yeah. I, before, before and after. Before so I want to okay. check the state before we go in, and then I'm going to compare that to the state after. Okay. Mm, yeah. Every if, <laughs> everything looks in tip top shape. Also unrelated. I just cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> He is sitting on my hand, and I'm like, "You don't need hands. I don't need no. hands. The are hands are just for him. Yeah. Hands are. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So everything seems in order. Okay. So we go um, into Target. I want. I do want to double check that the car has like a toolbox, repair kit, all that stuff, just in case. They would all be stocked. Okay. Awesome. I trust in uh, her preparedness. Just yeah, yeah. Right I was gonna say she's very meticulous. There's like power bars and like bottled water in every one of her cars. Like thermal like blanket, candles. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely an emergency kit in every single. <laughs> I love it. Okay, excellent. The worst thing you can do is not be prepared. <laughs> the best thing you can do is be over prepared. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Batman so yeah, time. we go into Target. Let's take a Rulio into Target. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I am for this. the worst that could happen. <laughs> this playlist really feels like it's queuing us up for like a steamy makeout session or something. <laughs> in the Target. In Target. Well, there are dressing rooms in Target. Oh my you, god. There's cameras in there, but you really <laughs> wouldn't know that. I should cameras like... make it better. <laughs> I just can't play music anymore. Music is canceled. <laughs> music is banned. <laughs> and no so music. we're just like the town no in Footloose, music. but it's music that's banned. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we always take it the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like some death metal, and we're like, this is sexy. <laughs> oh. um, I can get down to this. Uh, all right. you, can, you can get into Target, and it's nice and brightly lit, and there's lots of people. And there's the cheapo like one to five dollar section near the doors yes. <laughs> <laughs> october's coming up need? so there's lots of like fall and halloween, halloween things yes. oh yes 
some spooky yeah, bats. Aurelia, we've lost him already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over looking at like what looks like a little weird miniature gargoyle lawn ornament type thing. And I'm like, we could get this for the flats. Like, sure, put it in the cart. Good. Put it in the cart. Do you think sure. one cat's going to be enough or should we get another cat? We probably you got to have two gargoyles <laughs> to guard the door. So, yes, yeah. we wouldn't want the first gargoyle to be lonely. Door. So we need two at least. Two, two per door then. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many doors are there in that? Three. I guess there's, there's one that goes to the sure. secret tunnel. There's one that goes to the back and one goes to the front. There. Really? <laughs> Okay, there's for a our viewers, not not for All me, right. who of course remembers. But. <laughs> <laughs> and then there might be an attic entrance. You don't know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's just a red rope ladder that gets thrown out. <laughs> <Yeah. the top. laughs> yes. Yep. That's how we keep the victims out of the rest of the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Amarantha's heading towards like the hygiene products and like grabbing necessities like toothbrushes and toothpaste. I don't know if all the vampires brush their teeth, but she's grabbing enough toothbrushes for everybody. Do. You're gonna start <laughs> really soon. <laughs> <laughs> He brushes his teeth. <laughs> Showering and washing his clothes? No, but I mean, <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> Keep those fangs pearly white. If you don't sweat, like, why do you need to wash your clothes? No. If you're a messy eater, you might because get blood all over them. Because you just trudged through the woods for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, there's dust in. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Might have something to do Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Tori is going to embrace the principle of if you don't have homemade, store bought is fine, and raid the spice section for any herbs that could be useful for Ooh, um, making okay. some wards. Okay, yeah. everything but the bagel seasoning. It's great. For She's also going to get bagel seasoning because she <laughs> just likes pumpkin it. Pumpkin spice wards. <laughs> pumpkin spice wards would be ideal, honestly. Do you mean like warding away pumpkin spice or using pumpkin spice to ward? <laughs> Using pumpkin spice to ward. Okay. Yes. Cinnamon's really good for That's like how you keep the basic bitches energy. out, is you oh. pour that shit. The basic That's how you draw them in. Witch. Yeah. Nobody will come in because they'll yeah. be so attracted uh, by the um, lines of pumpkin spice they have to snort. You know? I'm gonna grab anything that could possibly be useful that she doesn't have a duplicate of in her own bag and refilling what she used in the woods. <laughs> Also probably what? grabbing extra like small bags or cloths for like wards. Plot twist, uh, making a ward in a Ziploc bag. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keep no, the the Just fresh. don't leave it so behind. Opaque is Literally. better to make people guess what's in there. Mm, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. So Amarantha, after getting the supplies, then she's like heading to like the underwear section because everyone needs clean underwear. <laughs> What's oh, <yeah>. everybody's preference? Five <laughs> like, like, drops is on clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like a pack of white t-shirts, uh, <laughs> some underwear, some socks. Yeah. 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 I grab some pajamas. Yeah. yeah. Like actual pajamas, because as a. Uh, few clothes as Tori normally wears, uh, she can't appreciate like a good just. Pajama shirt, fleece pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amaranth grabs today. a couple of robes. Yes. <laughs> the slippers that have just like the red, like really fuzzy bit on the like. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and heel slippers, yeah. A red boa <laughs> to go with the, you know. <laughs> essentials, the essentials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got to hit the wine section, <laughs> a bottle of tequila. <laughs> like, these are all essentials. <laughs> Miss Targets that sold that. We only got beer here. So oh. in I was surprised. It's still illegal for so. grocery stores to carry liquor here. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, right? That's like the am. South. <laughs> <laughs> but much further north <laughs> yeah. it was it was illegal in parts of michigan for a while too wow um they can sell liquor at the gas station in wisconsin wow literal liquor at the gas station 
Ohio has drive through liquor stores. Mm-hmm. Whoa. So Do you too. Yeah. Time <laughs> saver. You can also get married at one of the bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right. you can marry wherever you want if you find the right guy. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, marry. <laughs> you just need someone who's yeah. like qualified. That's not to what I people. meant. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you meant to marry or to officiate. Both. <laughs> yes. Oh, Both. you can get your you can get your license to officiate in like 10 minutes on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. Vampire wedding on the to-do list. <laughs> uh, Tori's also oh. gonna stock up on medical supplies just to make sure they've got enough mm-hmm. stuff. Specifically, um considering some of the things Amarantha said, uh band-aids of a larger size. And also antibiotics. <laughs> Trying to think of what specific things. <laughs> I say a lot of things. How keep you guessing? <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab like a um, like a sweater dress or whatever to wear tomorrow. Um, oh. Yep. Okay. Um. Vlad would like to try and swing over towards like the electronics department and pull aside Aurelio to be like, look, I know that you don't like to deal with the new technology, but we really need to be able to keep in contact with you. And he's going to give him a burner phone, like one of those prepaid cards. Like training wheels phone. Jitterbugs. <laughs> people phone. Yeah. His first phone. <laughs> no. And so he's, yeah, he's just like, I'm going to program it and everything. So you just hold down one button and you can call me. And then if you hold down a different one, you can call Amarantha. Sure. No, that's that sounds like a very a prudent idea. Yeah. And if you decide you want something better later, we can look into that. But this is... Just like the phone at home, you just carry it in your pocket instead. Sure, less less time consuming with like always with the mm. one button, one button. Yeah. <laughs> Michael doesn't even know how to use that phone. <laughs> Rotary phone. Rotary yeah. phones. So, uh, I did want to ask you: Do you have any contacts for Headmaster Brando? I I was just planning on swinging by his office. I don't. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> my mic freaked out. Um, I don't. Uh, no, not really. We don't commute. Well, we don't communicate much at all. So, I was just going to go by his office, maybe. And oh, when it. when were you planning on doing that? Mm, Monday or whenever we're back in Salem. Just to okay. see what he might know about the situation with the Anarchs and everything going on. I guess I should tell you that I plan on contacting him sooner, considering the situation that happened today. Ah, yes. No, for sure. That's... Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that... I don't know what... Uh, how cordial the two of you are uh <laughs> not at all i'm questioning that right now as well mm. i i sort of thought maybe in person face to face might be better but you might be right that sooner it might be a necessity yes i'm not quite sure how i'm going to get the message as quickly as i can but if you don't have um, do I dare ask an email or <laughs> no okay never mind no. um... <laughs> you could just call the dean's office and I'm sure <laughs> um, yeah so it's it's no matter I'll figure it out don't his worry. assistant is very nice I've had many long talks with her she's very very sweet good good <laughs> um, yeah no, I'll figure some way. Don't worry about it. Sure. I, yes, not, not worrying about it at all. Um, I, <laughs> I also, 
I also have, I actually, I meant to give this to you, but I found, um, I was just looking around at some of the little shops in Salem, and odds and ends and things, but I happened to find uh, and takes out of his pocket the sky blue crystal that he got at one of the little oh witchy shops. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, you know, sometimes you buy things at these like little human shops. I don't know that it's actually worth it or like that will actually be capable of much. But uh, the employee of the shop did say that it would be good for, you know, renewal and cleansing, refreshing auras and clearing out any bad energies and just, you know, something good for ushering in the start of something new. So I, I wanted you to have it. Thank you. And, of course. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll kind of kiss you on the forehead. <laughs> Make sure nobody's around. Yeah, <laughs> just <be rude. laughs> We all know. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fine. It's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Egon, you said you would be quiet. Egon. <laughs> also, probably don't spy on people when they're kissing. <laughs> this is, this is fine. Very fine. <laughs> Egon is a treasured friend, of course. So it's, it's so fine. I'm a treasured friend? Of course. You've been with us for many a dangerous journey at this point. So, uh, but of course. Yeah. <laughs> Too, <but> yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a target. It's got everything that the modern family needs. Sponsor us. <laughs> Sponsor us, Target. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how a commercial by Vlad would go. <laughs> Sponsor us. Got oh, everything. Yeah. Look into my eyes. Sponsor us now. <laughs> Get the hypno toad. I mean, we still, we've still not gotten a cease and desist from the city of Salem. So, not yet. Yeah, I've tagged him and at the least he's going to Despite targeting, adding them on Twitter. Yeah. It's a good thing or a bad thing. Who's to say? No, Salem's going to be chill as soon as we get to Boston. Mm, nope. <laughs> Never should not. Lose it. And Never should have left. Sports run. <laughs> no, we are going to be canceled for that. I don't, I don't think any of our fans are going to know what that is. So <laughs> Anyways, um, Amarantha will grab some like some snack food for her and Tori. And if Vlad wants anything, whatever, some bottle of Target. Yeah. He'll look around, but I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, Cookies. she's planning to order food in, but like, you know, just like. Some munchies for the road. Yeah, oh, like on the go. How we got? Is it nice? Do they have like a bar and a no, restaurant in it? No. Michael reserved it. Let Michael it's answer. It's a hotel bar. It's a, ho- it's a, it's a hotel. It's a hotel bar. Sorry. It's, it's an, an airport, airport hotel. Yeah. It, okay. The last one I went to was really nice. It had three restaurants in it <laughs> and one it bar. It probably has like a restaurant, <laughs> All right, like a bar go. restaurant combo, but it's Good like enough. American food. So it's not. Yeah. The fanciest bar food. <laughs> Michael just buys some clothes, pajamas for the night, something to wear tomorrow. Pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah. Pajama, pajama plaid pajama bottoms. Pajama <gasps> bottoms. Is he only sleeping in pajama bottoms? No, he gets a sweatshirt too. It doesn't match either. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good. She looks disappointedly at the sweatshirt. In the it's like a dusty bottom, pink just... sweatshirt and then obnoxious red and green plaid. Yeah. <laughs> she well, just got like a robe and a nightgown combo for herself. <laughs> Intentionally getting time. things that don't match. <laughs> good, good. Fair enough. Yeah, so I think that's like mostly what we need. Do we need anything else? Did we acquire food of any sort? I said we got snacks and bottled water. And then we're going to probably either order in or we're going to... There's uh, a restaurant there. There's a restaurant downstairs in the hotel, so... 
we should feed Tori. <laughs> <laughs> feed the beast. Couple drinks. Yeah. <laughs> feed the witch so she doesn't curse you. Um <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> uh, Tori is gonna just buy a whole bottle of orange juice. <laughs> For reasons. Okay. To mix with the tequila? Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Amarantha was just going through the bottles of wine and she's just like, um, this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and <Okay>. this one. <laughs> Five <laughs> bottles of wine later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cat. We already professionally Cat. needy. Yeah, what a mood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think we have everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can uh, you can pay and return to the car. Get back on the road. All right. Mm -hmm. One's gonna good. program Aurelia's new phone. <laughs> <laughs> so she checks her messages before. <laughs> They start driving <laughs> while Tori is checking the engine again. Yeah, double checking just to make sure nobody's uh, gotten to it while we were in the store. Still looks fine. Excellent. <laughs> and it's from Amaranthus people, so I imagine the um, the work on the engine is just top notch. Mm, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. <Yes>. Very clean. <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but Amarantha checks her texts. Um, so you have a message from Vlad. Mm -hmm. It says, Amarantha, things have become complicated. And we might not be able to go forward with our date as planned. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to try and make do with the locations and the time that we have here. Or we can take a rain check until you feel more safe and comfortable. I'll leave the decision to you. She just like reads it. It's red, but she has not responded to it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> expect an immediate answer to that no, one. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to check to see if Toby's gotten back to her about the flat and if Louie has gotten flight details to her. Um, Toby has not gotten back to you yet. Um, uh -oh. Louis has sent over his flight details <laughs> and he will be getting into Boston the next evening. Great. Uh-huh. Yep. Great. <laughs> you, you know what they say that no news is good news. So it's... we'll have to get a second room. Our <laughs> oh, news is house fire. I thought we had two rooms. No, it's a big suite. <laughs> it's got two big beds. <laughs> <What's his> bed? <laughs> what? And there's oh. a couch if you don't want to share a bed. His head like uh, what? <laughs> Oh, so a boys' room and a girls' room. I got a big suite with a nice view of the airport, and it's got a bathtub. <laughs> well, we might go yes. home tomorrow if the flat is fine, so we might not need another room. He's not going to be here till tomorrow evening. We might not have a flat to go. <laughs> <laughs> We might need to change our fucking names and leave the space. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, all the goddamn pick his name on purpose. You know, starting just... over. Hey, Lily, we're going back to France, France. anyways. Start perusing <laughs> your collection of uh, falsified identities. And yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, who's still, who here still has the the government name? <laughs> what, what exactly do you mean by that? <laughs> the name the government gave you. Oh, your parents. The name. Sorry. The government. The government gives you a number. Yeah. <laughs> um. That's the name you were born with. The I, number. A Christian name also, I guess, would work. I don't I'm know the Christian. Sure go that far. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who here still has their government name? Yeah, None don't. of us raise Who's our hands. Fucking the government. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Only awkward. Vlad. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> does, Vlad's, government. does Vlad's government technically exist anymore anyway? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Not especially. It's fine. Neither does the really Vlad is his own government. Vlad, Vlad was the government. I am the government. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Good yeah, getting to know everybody. Let's man. check out and get out of here. Or yeah, let's let's, let's check go. out. You haven't even checked in. <laughs> might get going before somebody finds us. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> okay. Street smart. Sorry, says. <laughs> Hold on so here, here we go. <laughs> uh, Egon settles back into his wine glass. <laughs> I love it. Corporeal once again. Uh huh. <laughs> But you can get back on the road. Mm-hmm. Um, anything you'd like to do past the time or just riding in silence to the hotel? <laughs> no, peppy, peppy music is playing and Amaranth is badly singing along. It's just Fleetwood Max rumors playing. Yes, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Perfect. We are going our own way, I suppose. Oh, that's way. not Fleetwood Mac rumors. Nope. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's close enough. It's, it's fine. Something like that. <laughs> it's a burn CD, and clearly someone just downloaded a bunch of Fleetwood Mac and assumed those songs were all on rumors. It's fine. It's fine. You gotta be fully honest. I had not heard the name Fleetwood Mac before this year. Because <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no. It's fine. It was before your time. <laughs> <laughs> it was before all of our times, but okay. <laughs> okay. Not that all. Uh, but you- Tori is occasionally um, using a variety of mirrors to uh, sneak glances at the situation in the back seat just to see if any drama's happening. Ooh, drama. Pulls out some trail mix. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. What's our sitting situation back here? <laughs> Did Michael once again shove his way in between us? Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. expect <laughs> anything else <laughs> yes amazing excellent a plus That's i fun. like that Black and michael's white. gonna like squeeze in between them in bed too like just <laughs> <laughs> they're both gonna settle into bed next to each other and then michael's and then gonna, Michael's just the gonna middle, like, like a cat like, like yeah. it's just it's just me. Make, room. make room for me please <laughs> It's like it's like that TikTok where it's like, excuse me, I'm just gonna scooch. I'm just gonna scooch in here. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Tori and Amaranth are trying to come up with performance art. <laughs> hey, look, they both learned pole for a variety of reasons. One of them is performance Absolutely. art. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> One of them, yes. Of them there are the others. One. There are others. <laughs> you never know when you'll need those skills. That's true. It's really true. important. We also have a pool installed in the attic. Fine. That's for exercise. I mean, <laughs> yes, and. Yes. <laughs> it depends how you define exercise, I suppose. <laughs> Elevated heart rate. <laughs> mm-hmm. That tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. So I assume we get to the hotel. Yeah. Michael you, can check us in. Yeah, you can get checked in and take all of your bags of things up to the room. Mm-hmm. Um, since Michael booked this, please describe the room for us. I love it so much. No, let's we'll um, check in first. <laughs> Michael pays the people to not rent any rooms to Vladimir. <laughs> so tempting. Do you have any extra rooms? No. Uh, it's, it's the biggest suite he could book. It's got two big king beds in there. It's got a nice little living seating area when you go in there. Big bathroom with a bathtub. And then it's got like a balcony space, but there's no door to the balcony space. It just looks like one. It's just supposed to be fancy. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and then now, it's got are like... the beds separate or like in separate rooms or no. it's nope. all like a God, big no. suite? Big okay. Room. All one big room. <laughs> he requested like that they I don't think I've ever seen a room like that. Room and close off the other two rooms. <laughs> Push them together. You requested they knock down a wall. To- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's they're sending us the renovation bill. The the There's probably mm-hmm. enough money on Amaranthus card to accommodate that. 
Just bought the whole hotel. Do whatever he wants with it. The hotel now says Amaranthas on top. Like, what the <laughs> did we spend this much money on at the hotel, Michael? <laughs> ghosts. Ghosts. Mm, that was the B for the ghosts. The... <laughs> there was a ghost B. I don't know. <laughs> ghost B. Yeah. Oh, no. So I assume we check in? Yeah. You get checked in and can get up to the room. Find, find it as room. yeah. Find it as uh, Maria described. One big room, so we're all in the same spot, and we don't lose anybody. It's very important, isn't it? And Michael, mm, very important. We're all in the <laughs> same <laughs> spot. Staring at Michael <laughs> and is not blinking. <laughs> it's hard to Black. glare and not laugh at the same time. <laughs> 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 and Glaring just, at Michael. Just goes on the no- his nose and goes. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a sleepover. Slumber party. <laughs> yes. We can make a blanket for it, and there's a microwave in here. We didn't get anything to make s'mores, but there's a microwave in here. We can have popcorn. Yep. <laughs> what time is it? Showtime. We'll say yes. it's <laughs> five, I would imagine. We'll say it's like six PM. Because you stopped okay. at Target and you had to go past Salem to get down to Boston. Okay, so Tari is going to fully consider just like uh, changing his pajamas there, there and then without <laughs> in front of everybody. But then she's like, "That's probably rude." <laughs> I go to the bathroom, switches out to pajamas. They're uh, all at least like three times our age. They've probably seen a naked woman before. It's fine. Excuse me. I don't want to make people uncomfortable <laughs> when it's not my intention. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so she's gonna just go to the bathroom, change to pajamas, and then just flops face first down onto one of the beds. It's like, figure it out. And Miranda's <laughs> just gonna lay down with her and like rub like soothing circles on her back until she falls asleep. Mm. We Third can like put like... a blanket over the two beds and put pillows underneath. So you got like a little fort and you can hide out in there and you can see the TV and watch yeah. a movie. Besides me, That's who perfect. could fit under the bed? <laughs> I mean, this little this little space in between the beds really only gonna fit two people. So, uh, as Amarantha's doing that, Tori just kind of like reaches out and like, um, presumably right like one of Amarantha's hands is like mm-hmm. on the bed, I guess, or whatever. Puts mm-hmm. her hand over that and just like smiles up at her, closes her eyes and just sleepy time rest. Give me a kiss on the forehead. Oh, good call. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this put, puts a wrench in my plans <laughs> mm. okay, Vladimir. <laughs> I, a wrench in someone's plans is something that's been said about tori often <laughs> <laughs> not you <laughs> Michael, what could you Michael be talking about today. <laughs> oops, <laughs> oops. Oops! Could you Oops. possibly be talking we about? All, we should all like try to stay together as much as possible. Yes, and if we want to discuss maybe a game plan or what we're doing when we get back to Salem and all that, we can do that very easily. It's very convenient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is everyone getting settled in the room then? Yep. Okay. Amaranth is also changing into her stuff. And um, Tori is, uh, before she fully falls asleep, is just going to like look up and kind of just like nail Vlad with a look and say, if you decide to leave, tell us first <laughs> and go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just when you say that Amarantha is changing into her stuff, it makes it sound more <laughs> ominous than it <laughs> It is. It's it should be ominous. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ominously sexy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, if Vlad is reasonably sure that Tori is asleep, then he's going to turn to Amarantha and say, mm-hmm. Do you want to get a drink? Sure. Okay. okay. Then I should put regular clothes back on, then, huh? It's a hotel. I don't think there's much expectations. Whatever. <laughs> Shit to you. Yeah. Um. He just yeah. kind of like throws a look at Aurelio, like. 
<laughs> Talk to Michael. <laughs> Drag him. Yeah. We should grab food for Tori anyways. And when she wakes up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we can leave to the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would say it's um, not super duper fancy, more like sort of like a family style restaurant. It's great because not dressed appropriately at all. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Three Michelin star dining in this hotel. <laughs> hotel. Oh. Not past the dress code in your pajamas. <clears throat> My pajamas don't pass the dress code. Those <laughs> pajamas are made of Michelin star food. Mm, pajamas yes. alike in his suit. Performance art <laughs> yeah, right there. She doesn't You're... look like a hooker at all right now. It's <laughs> not, not suitable for never feels overdressed. It's not wrong. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> what would the two of you like to order? <sighs> Is there like a bar set up? Yeah. Yeah, we can go sit down at the bar. Mm-hmm. What do you drink? Martini is fine. He'll order two martinis then. Okay. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> no, that's watered down. Don't know. James Bond was a fool. That's why he did it. He did it is so that he was only drinking water, so that's why he was never drunk. He was uh, tricking everybody. Sure. That's that spy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You can get, you can have your martinis served with a little olive. I got your message. Oh, yeah. yes. Shit got complicated. Yeah. Uh huh. That's, it's, yeah. The tomorrow best word evening, for it. I need to pick Louie up at the airport. Or somebody does. <laughs> you said Louie is like a, a family friend to you? Mm hmm. You know, I've met him before. You have? I'm not sure if it was before you or after he might have met your family, depending on how far back. How long ago was it? <laughs> um, seventeen, eighteen. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably before. I don't know. I don't know how long he's been. I don't know who he knew with my family. I, he met my mom. That was not that many decades ago. Yeah. So just your mother. Okay. Yeah. Well, she was an orphan. So. And he's a really nice man. But he's upset with your situation right now? I don't know that he's upset. Exasperated might be a better word. Concerned. <laughs> okay. And it's good to have someone like that worrying about you. Mm hmm <sighs> I wanted to ask you, um, hmm. You have a driver that was mm -hmm. right after you, once you called. Mm -hmm. Do you have somebody that would be able to deliver a letter? Yeah. Tonight? Sure. I need to have a letter on... Marlon Brando's desk by tomorrow morning. Hmm. Okay. Do you have anyone that you trust to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to pull out his journal and start writing a letter in the back of it. She will start texting people out of her Boston office to see who wants to go deliver a letter to Salem <laughs> for a nice bonus. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you can 
it doesn't take too long considering the position you're in to find someone who's mm -hmm. willing to do overtime, mm -hmm. so to speak. I mean, it's not that much overtime. Yeah. It's not a difficult task, but no, it's just got to mm -hmm. be quick. Yeah. So. Okay, they're on their way. So, depending on how things go tomorrow, maybe we can still get dinner somewhere? Yeah. We can still get dinner. It might just be a later dinner. <laughs> yes. With, uh, Hopefully the and... flap's okay. <laughs> yes, there's somebody I'm hoping to meet with while we're in town as well. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just a lot going on. Do you need to do that, like, tonight? No, I don't think she would be too keen on that. I'll give her a call in the morning. <laughs> okay. She's not a late-night call kind of girl. <laughs> no judgments here, all right? <laughs> Do you think he'll talk about it? Who? Michael. I don't know. Um, I tried to corner him in the kitchen the other night, and he decided to stuff his mouth with brown bread instead of talk about it. What exactly do you know about how Michael feels? About as much as you, Vlad. <laughs> I don't know if you've caught this about Michael and Aurelio, but they're not too keen on talking about their feelings in a direct and concise manner that isn't roundabout. <laughs> With your declarations the other day, I thought maybe you had some insider knowledge. Just curious. Mm. Uh, I don't... Are you asking for, like, my observations on my assessment of the situation? Uh, yes, I guess I just... <clears throat> we don't have to talk about it if you're uncomfortable. I mean... something you should maybe ask Aurelio and Michael about, you know? I have one side of the situation. The other side is unaccounted for. The other side of the situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, they are very dependent on each other. There's a lot of like dependence in the co variety there. <laughs> hmm. It's fine. I mean, I get it. And you're. Your assessment of Aurelio and I was that we were currently in love with each other but no one wanted to talk about it hmm. okay why are you assessing my assessment skills vladimir it's the point of this conversation isn't it Ooh. not sure what the point is <laughs> i thought we were getting to know each other better but Oh, that's what the date's for. <laughs> so we're going to compartmentalize. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier that way, isn't it? No, not really. I mean, maybe in the short term. Hmm. You can't just box everything up and put them into neat little packages. As much as I'd like to. That's definitely my aesthetic. But uh, <laughs> Feelings spill out of things like that. It's not a... Nothing about it is neat or organized. It's a... 
a nonlinear process. Okay, well, let's stop speculating on how other people feel. <laughs> that would be ideal, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel I, about Aurelio? I care for Aurelio. Mm -hmm. And that's the extent of it? I feel a need to protect him from bad things. Really? Hmm. I mean... Rulio is a very interesting person. I I adore Rulio. Don't get me wrong. Um, sometimes the sometimes he's super aware of situations, and sometimes he's completely oblivious. And I don't know if that's a purposeful thing or not. You know, but hmm. he's protective. I'm protective. It's kind of we're both that way. Just in different ways, I think. Yeah. It's always different. It works. And Michael, <laughs> you said some pretty deep things about Michael. Yes. How do you feel about him? I have feelings for Michael. What about him? Michael is one of the most considerate and thoughtful people that I've ever met. He's always thinking of us, like, you know, buying us little keychains because we couldn't be included in the ghost tours. I don't think that anybody else gave it a second thought, but Michael did. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have somebody who thinks about you when you're not around and does things that are thoughtful for you, even if they involve bringing ugly sweaters along so you're not cold. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice in its own way, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a fun sense of humor. Mm. Also, I have a terrible weakness for beautiful and dangerous things. So exhibit A, Tori. <laughs> yes, I don't think I really need to ask about your feelings for Tori. Mm -hmm. You two seem very well suited for each other. Yeah, it took work though. I mean, we had very different upbringings and we just had to figure it out. Mm. Yes, I know something about that. I imagine you do. Michael is, yes, he's, um, he's very surprising. He, <laughs> as far as I can tell, that he is not very close to his sire or any other vampires besides Aurelio. And that was even still in the last few decades. Which mm -hmm. I, I mean, I guess that sounds like a long time, but you know. I don't think Michael's Relative that old. and all that, yes. I don't think he's that old. Yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> and, but still, he's living with you two in his first century. Like, there's a lot of And you're still around. Are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, never mind. <laughs> I mean, are you saying that in his first century he should have just us? Yes, he's doing quite well for mm -hmm. being on his own and not having much of a mentor. Well, I think Aurelio helps. I wouldn't underestimate Aurelio. He's. I don't. That's good. I'm just saying before that. 
oh, I have no idea what his life was like before that. I only met them when we moved in. A month ago? Yeah. It's been almost five weeks. And it's been only four days? <laughs> Super long four days, but yes. <laughs> yes, a very long four days. A lot has happened in four days. <laughs> Feels like months and months have gone by in the four days. <laughs> it does. It keeps life interesting, so. Well, in case we don't get around to a dinner and have more time to talk, I think that you should know about a, a friend of mine, Isla. Hmm. She does a lot of business here out of Boston. Mm. And I know that is something that you and your family has taken a lot of interest in. And I don't know if you already have contacts with her, but it's if possible. you don't, it might be beneficial for the both of you. Sure. If we can visit her in the next couple of days, then. Sure. Feel like you should know about her beforehand. Absolutely. How old is she? Fairly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a bit younger than you, but not very much so. Maybe oh. like a hundred years. Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> I mean, after almost six centuries. Amarantha doesn't know that. <laughs> Nobody knows. I know. <laughs> oh, she's uh, gonna know soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, she's um, a bit older than Aurelio. But okay. Not really important. I was just trying to gauge whether she's human or vampire. No, she's a vampire, yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I should clarify I'm sorry that's okay <laughs> so, so what if hmm? yeah yeah she'll order whatever she knows Tori's favorites are on the menu <laughs> and then um, some food for herself and whatever to bring up to the room Hey, well, if that concludes your conversation for the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll hand her the letter before we leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that is a good time to take a quick break. Mm -hmm. And then come back okay. to Michael and Aurelio conversation. Yeah, see, see what's going on upstairs in the meantime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's chaos. Of chaos. course. Chaos. Is it? Awesome Tori sleeping through the chaos. Just or is it emotions? <laughs> it's just, you guys just Why walk in with both? Tori's Tori's to go bags and everything's on fire. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> Tori, <laughs> Tori I knew it. Yeah. Welcome to sleep arson. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are locked in the bathroom for their own safety. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing camp.
Simple minds want it all, take it off, five o'clock mm. What come the rocks? What come the rocks? Dirty socks, kitchen sink, bring it on, drink a drink Drink it off, take it off, take it off, take it off Rhythm and blues, sipping on gin and juice
just like rhythm and blues. Drink. Yeah, we Reverse forgot Aaron. those records. Hi, I'm super cool Hollywood producer Lance Cash. You can tell because I got a cool Hollywood name. We need to see some housing records from those dates that they specifically requested that I didn't forget about. Late 1600s to the early 1700s because we're doing that haunted homes uh reality show i was gonna say sitcom that was my last show have you seen it it was really good i won an emmy what's it called it's you know it's the one with like the four different families and they're all related that one Can i say that on here uh -huh. <laughs> um i'm gonna use a few eggs to influence her into giving us those records she blinks a few times and stares at you and kind of shakes her head a little bit and says oh uh mr cash yes i know exactly yes that tv show was absolutely fantastic <laughs> huge huge fan of your work uh, wonderful i can't i'm awesome i'm completely i welcome to our the town of Dave. I'm, I'm so sorry um yes yeah, certainly i can help you i'm again so sorry i don't mean to put a wrench in your schedule i know i'm sure you're a very busy man and lots you're... of filming, lots of B-roll to get done today. Yes, yes. Um, sure, let me... Uh... Don't want to lose the sun. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Uh, and then I know things get super expensive if you have to go work overtime. So let me, I will just go get those records that you were at. Just one moment, please. And she goes in, into into back room and disappears, leaves you alone for a few moments. Okay, so... Um, cutting back to the room upstairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing Tori. Tori's still asleep. Yes, or uh, pretending Tori's to be asleep. Asleep will probably wake up if anyone makes a sufficiently uh, loud or obnoxious noise. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh no! Uh, <laughs> better or not. Obnoxious. <laughs> I, or obnoxious. Would also like to volunteer that. <laughs> Uh, Egon has probably taken up habitat in the ice bucket. <gasps> I, I love, love that this. For him That's so, so cute. Much. Yes. It's so, his little yes. bucket. We'll just yes. steal it. It's fine. Yeah. We'll steal it. Yeah. <laughs> They'll charge us, but glass. it's fine. What? They'll charge Where'd the wine glass get off to? Uh, if you brought it, if you left it in the car, it's still in the car. If you brought it, it's probably on a table it's or probably in the car somewhere. it's yeah it's but, probably in the car uh, or yeah, something yeah, yeah. yeah it probably wouldn't look super good yeah. to be bringing in well, a glass well we could have we could have brought him in a, <laughs> a pocket glass of ghost yeah, yeah. Glass. we brought him of Vlad's pocket yeah i'm real <laughs> if Vlad is just holding the glass he's fancy anyways so he would look so <laughs> what do you fill it glass me. has yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is there not wine in my glass <laughs> it's the so douchiest thing i've ever heard <laughs> my glass is empty <laughs> <laughs> the glass is always, Never, always empty. <laughs> oh my God. So now that that's been established, what are Michael and Aurelia <laughs> doing? <laughs> did you did you say earlier something about s'mores? Because I mean, I know if you didn't get like the chocolate or the graham cracker, but I think with like the concierge, maybe they probably have some sort of biscuit, uh, chocolates, some sort of thing. 
we got popcorn it's fine <laughs> are you sure i because i could i could go down and i could go get or ask someone to get the marshmallows maybe <laughs> how the fuck are you gonna make s'mores without a fire we got a microwave Shh. toy. Go back to sleep. Then she'll Go just start like Tori just her scalp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, that feels really bad. Flap a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Wraps Tori in a blanket. <laughs> you gonna tuck her in? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you sure? It is really. It would be no trouble. I don't. I mean, it all kind of tastes the same, anyways. At this point. Food? Uh, yes, yeah, that's true. It's all, yeah. It's all a little bit not quite as good as you remember sometimes. But there's a mini bar. I'm sure there's something good in the mini bar if you're hungry or snacky. We got snacks. Remember, we went to yes. Target? Yes, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true as well. Yes. I, uh, Mikhail, I. I sort of did want to talk to you, just, uh, I, I hope it's not putting you on the spot. Um, just with everything over the last couple of days, it feels like things maybe got a little tense or a little awkward. And I just want to make sure that you're feeling okay and everything is good. And and if you really want s'mores, I will go and get some s'mores. Like, it's no big deal. <laughs> These have been the longest two days of my life. <laughs> like, it feels wrong. like months. <laughs> it's true it's uh, yes it's been a long a long journey it's been so long <laughs> yes no uh, yeah it it i suppose maybe all of us could use a little time to sort of like process things and like decompress a little bit but um i know things happen sort of uh, somewhat more quickly than i'm accustomed to after amarantha and after everything <laughs> but uh, you know you think I she just... did that on purpose so that we would all talk about our feelings uh, probably i mean <laughs> yeah <that's... laughs> I, I, her heart is in the right place right but it's you know Sometimes you get a little whiplash, right? Just going going at one pace for so long and then suddenly everything is accelerating and it all feels a little crazy. Like I mean if any I bad things can happen at any time. And we might not have forever that we're allegedly promised to have. Yes. That's true. So maybe maybe Amaranta does have the right way of it that some things are better to sort of talk about in the open because we don't want to end up like a ghost in a cabin you know no, just kind of I... waiting for someone to show up no and I mean I certainly I've made some sort of peace with the whole ghost thing but I don't want to be a ghost I won't be a ghost <laughs> no ghost <laughs> that's rude hey, Egon I'm, I'm so sorry <laughs> You've been a dear friend. I'm truly very sorry, but I don't want to be a ghost. <laughs> but we could be friends forever. We could still be Egon. friends forever. Yeah, we, we, we're we not going to die anytime soon. Well, sure? <laughs> barring feel... terrible things happening, I don't think so. Okay. Egon, I will make you a promise, and that is that barring that we don't do anything like truly exceptionally stupid... <laughs> We won't be dying anytime soon. Or accidentally get murdered. <laughs> Anything stupid or on accident. <laughs> but in those two things, we aren't going to be dying anytime soon. I mean, that covers a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> or any no. accidental gang wars that we may or may not have caused. <laughs> or bear gang witness wars. to. <laughs> or be a part of, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's still. I suppose it doesn't. Even after uh, Amaranta's urging, it still doesn't quite come easy to me. The 
talking about things and perhaps I'm not the most uh, observant individual, I think is uh, pretty generous to say, but uh, you know, we've been, you've been a dear friend of mine for decades. And I just want to make sure that you're feeling okay, that, you know, I just, I, I, it, it occurred to me after what Amaranta said that maybe I had been taking advantage a little bit. And I just, I don't, I don't want that to be how, how it works between us. Uh, I was, I was awake when you and Vlad had your little talk i kind of thought you might have been i'm really sorry yeah. i don't know if that's awkward or mm. it just it happened really fast i really did not anticipate that like at all <laughs> a lot of things just kind of happened of things. in the last like 12 hours two days two days aside the last 12 hours it's only been 12 hours it's truly insane <laughs> But I, you know, I, I don't know. It, things between Vladimir and I were very complicated in the past. And I think a large part of that is really down to me not wanting to, uh, I don't know, not wanting to say certain things or not wanting to get into certain things. And I think maybe that's an instinct that has not served me particularly well. And I don't want it to hurt our relationship or cause you distress or anything like that. And <laughs> Michael, you've been, you were a dear friend to me when I was very lonely and very badly needed a friend. So I just wanted to say that, you know, whatever it is that makes you happy, that's what I want to do. Kind of like we ended up killing each other's loneliness together. A little bit, yes. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Michael's just going to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Why is this always how the confessions go for me? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Tori's asleep. He's... A, really is on the other side yeah. of Tori and they're just over <laughs> top of her smooching. Yeah, yeah. You just no, tear no, out. She's, she's oh, asleep. Oh, oh. Oh, very quiet. Oh. It. <laughs> Wait, like right over her? Yeah, cool. Well, really was tucking you in. You were getting some head scratches. I hope she's asleep. Yeah, hopefully. Or, or she's asleep. just going to lay very still <laughs> and quietly. That's what we need to know that you would find out. <laughs> I just, whatever makes you happy and whatever makes Vladimir happy and the girls happy, that's, that's what matters most. I just want us all to be happy. <laughs> I think... Amarantha keeps saying polycule and I had to Google it and I think she's right. I think that's the only solution. <laughs> and he's going to take out the phone, say, hey Siri, what's a polycule? And show it to Aurelio. What? <laughs> I, just, uh, what? I love yes. it. But... No, I, I mean, I don't, I didn't necessarily have like the word for it. I, I've known people, like there's... I, people have been in all sorts of relationships for all of time. I mean, I've known people that had a certain arrangement, but uh, yeah, I, I think that there's something between all of us that feels like a special sort of connection. Drew and us I think, all into each other. Yes, yes. And Not I think that there's something very profound or very I, I don't know I, I haven't fully figured it out yet but I think well we got time to figure it out yes yes and yeah there there are certainly yeah we can take we like you said we have all the time to figure it out and that way nobody ends up as a sad lonely ghost in the cabin 
No, no, no. Listen, Egon. Well, you're not <laughs> sad and sorry. lonely, and we're in a cabin. Yeah, you're in a, a hotel goat. room with us. And you're also in our friend. flat with us. <laughs> No, no one. I don't. I don't want any of us to be lonely anymore. I think that's that ship sailed. Yes, we'll we will sink that ship. It's gone. This bottom of the ocean, never again. Just put it down there like the Titanic. <laughs> yes. Here, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, sinking the shipping. Sinking <laughs> all your ships. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. The ships have sunk because they're canon. <laughs> I just, I've really valued your friendship, Mikhail. Michael, sorry. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm, it always takes me a long time to pick up on these things and then to like, figure out my own feelings and I just I really do appreciate you I mean when you have forever but then there's just been this kind of crippling possibility of morality staring at us morality mortality it's a lot morality mortality mortality that's the one I meant <laughs> this is, this, morals have gone morals have long gone <laughs> we can work on that we can work on that <laughs> You get snacky, I know, I know. Yeah, those morals. <laughs> don't go in the attic. Don't, yes. I, <laughs> I don't know what part of the attic Tori and Amarantha get into, but... <laughs> the whole attic. <laughs> we have a PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> 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 That's good. I, I'm glad. I just, I feel, I honestly feel relieved. I'm, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. <laughs> I only have so much. <laughs> Main the Roma character of Rulio. <laughs> <laughs> I literally said that meme to the group chat earlier. <laughs> character syndrome, I love it. Uh, it's in the bylaws somewhere. Everybody has to be in love with Remix character. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that part of the bylaws, in- Remix. Yeah. There was actually the secret it's in contract Cran. that everyone else had to sign. On a Cran on before coming onto the stream, that their characters a- have to be in love with Remix. Yeah, it's it's I will have to specifically coaster. pick somebody else. Um, yeah, yeah. The addendum coaster. I addendum coaster. am free and open to be loved. So. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Egon. Who's going to love Egon? Poor we'll have to get him a ghost girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or a ghost friend. boyfriend. Ghost friend. Mm, a ghost, ghost friend. Ghost friend. <laughs> so, add, add that to the list. Yep. <laughs> we'll get one next time we're at Target. <laughs> I bet they have them. In my pocket. <laughs> we could go to the haunted Walgreens. They probably got one there. I'm gonna come back to this note in a week, and I'm not gonna know why it just says ghost partner. Yep. <laughs> ghost partner. Yep. I love it. Before <laughs> Vlad and Amarantha go up, she's gonna be like, Vlad, I know you think that I asked you out just to intimidate Arulio, but that wasn't why. The timing I maybe used a little bit to further push but I had always planned to ask you out well not always but yes it was on the the to-do list (laughs) (laughs) okay um hmm. hey Miranda what do you see in me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to take some unpacking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what do I see in you? I, maybe I have been a bit 
self-critical, but I don't think our interactions have gone so well. I don't think, based on your family's history, that you had a particularly fond view of my type. I don't know. I just... Dangerous I, I beautiful. Think... I have a type, Vlad. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay. Also, I, I can accept that. <laughs> I don't know. You seem like you could use a little bit more happiness in your life. Can't we all? Always. Do you want to get another drink? Sure. I think it might be a bit noisy upstairs if we go <laughs> too early. Great. <laughs> Okay, you can head back to the bar. Was there anything else that was being discussed upstairs? I know things kind of got shifted away. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> At the end of that discussion, uh, <laughs> Tori was awake. <laughs> which I did clear what? with Charlie. Yes. <laughs> we're not being quiet. Um, Tori kind of just we were. Us? Quiet? And says, you two are adorable. <laughs> Oh! Oh, she was awake the whole time. <laughs> I'm glad you were talking about your feelings, Sam. Now we can never speak of our feelings ever again. Oh, Aurelia was pretending to be asleep. Now <laughs> <laughs> he just falls over. <laughs> Pulls a blanket. He's like a possum. He spooked him. Or he just kind of like pats the blanket shoulder. Okay. <laughs> oh, you live with Amarantha. We're talking about feelings every fucking day, you guys. <laughs> Hello. In my defense, in my defense. You were the guys who decided to have this conversation literally right fucking over me. <laughs> and like, I mean, I appreciate it because I enjoy a good drama, but <laughs> I did my best, you know. I got us out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> you're both very adorable. But no, for what it's worth, I'm glad you're talking to each other now. If, if we don't talk about our feelings, Amarantha's gonna make us do it anyways, I feel like so. I am well aware. It's one of those do on your own volition after the first warning. I I am waiting for warning. the second warning. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Poor Tori. <laughs> Years of being forced to talk about her feelings. <laughs> Poor Tori. <laughs> Tori's like, I'm trying to estimate how much how far I can push this before Amaretha makes me say things. <laughs> so like I mean I don't necessarily have a problem with it if you just want to like stay there but also <laughs> you could just lie down <laughs> just saying I'm asleep <laughs> Michael's just gonna lay yeah, down next Charlie to Tori. Charlie already scooted you over to the middle of the bed and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like on the other side. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna he's gonna go find the pad of paper that all, all the hotels have and we'll make Egon a little hat. Oh, <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yes. uh, yes. cute. I love it. There's a real hat. Yeah, it's there's so a real cute. Hat. <laughs> He'll fold a like a little triangle hat for Egon. <gasps> so cute. He's a pirate. So he's not left out. Pirate. Oh. Do you go give it to him? This hat will yeah. keep you company. 
I don't know if it's, I guess it's up to him to if it sits alone. on his head or not. Yeah. Um, you can set it down a little gently on his, on his head and he perks up a little bit. <laughs> I'm fancy now. <laughs> Got a little hat. I can't do any other kind of origami hats. So that's, the, <laughs> I can make more, but I can't do anything else. <laughs> Next I don't we'll know on how many hats I need. I don't know either. We'll work on a boat occasion, next. my friend. All the hats. Yeah. All the hats, all the sweaters. In the hotel room. A little, a little boat to put in the bath? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Is Aurelia still like, um... <laughs> He's pretending to be asleep. <laughs> He's pretending to be asleep under all the blankets. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm all feelings <laughs> out today. It's just no slowly just... Met my feelings, just cuddling. Quota. <laughs> just kind of just like looking squirreling under more blankets <laughs> the blanket lump of Aurelia just quietly laughing <laughs> it's back at Michael does he always do that uh I don't know we never talked about our feelings before <laughs> <laughs> not a once well it's the first step in collecting empirical evidence does Aurelia turn into a blanket burrito every time Let's find out. <laughs> oh, so oh, far, one hundred percent of the times. Mm. <laughs> more feelings. More feelings. I don't think he hid in blankets after him and Vlad talked, but maybe, maybe. I mean, after I Vlad was busy left. upstairs. Oh, after he left. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Did he? Did you? Yes. So yes, a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that's two steps closer to a formative theory of Aurelio's reactions to feelings. Blankets are the reactions. Yeah. <laughs> Trust that could be wrong. It feels right it's a sometimes talking about feelings feels a little revealing. And you just want to curl up cover in a blanket. Up. Yeah, just well, something I mean, to cover. <laughs> Isn't vulnerability the point? I guess, but there's in the grand really scheme of things. only so much I can step. <laughs> you'd think that after several hundred years, you'd get the hang of it. And that Just... nothing would be scary? I mean, things are always going to be scary. And revealing feelings is always going to be scary. Vulnerability isn't meant to be comfortable. <laughs> I think becoming a vampire means invulnerability to a lot of things, but feelings is not one of them. So. Do you think that that makes it, do you think that that adds more weight to the feelings? Because you're invulnerable to so many things, there isn't a lot left that can hurt you? It could very well be, I mean, yeah. I mean, when you're mortal, everything can hurt you. Feelings aren't really that much more dangerous than anything. And That's yeah. true. That's true, yeah. And Miranda's has always been better at the feelings thing, so I leave the expertise. That's also her. true. <laughs> I think you're very you perceptive know. about feelings, though. So, uh, not through to... my own preference. <laughs> <laughs> you learned you know, right. It took me like five years to realize I liked Amarantha, and she had to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the way a lot of uh, <laughs> the emotional reveals around the flat have gone. <laughs> well, you know, she's the one that's good at it. It's I'm not true. as good at stabbing. <laughs> I'm gonna take your word for that. <laughs> I mean, if you want like some extra insight into it, I could just hang out your chest for a bit. Who's into chest? the feelings or into being stabbed? <laughs> <laughs> Both, I guess. I mean, look, some people notch their bedposts when they've slept with people. Some people notch their bedposts when they've stabbed people. Sometimes those things aren't mutually exclusive. In my case, they are, but. <laughs> sure, sure. Do you I have one bedpost for each? Is that how you keep them separate? Yes. Okay. I, if you stab and <laughs> if the bedpost is wooden, you can stab people with it as well. I mean, to be fair, 
I only sleep with Amarantha in that bed. That's fair. Sure. Anyone else, it's like Aww. it's on their territory. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. The pointedness of that. Oh, I <laughs> this is very funny. My bad. <laughs> I mean, not just anyone's allowed in my space. Yes, true. I, I've, I would consider it a fortunate that you know you've permitted us into your space. Well, I happen to like you guys. You know, if I didn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yes. Besides, we're all on the run from homicidal vampires. What's there to lose? That is very true. Let's... A lot, really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good point, Egon. Thank you. A bit concerning. Hmm. I mean, hopefully the flat didn't burn down or anything, but yeah, we'll find out. Toby is a very like... slow texter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it... like we would have found out by now if something had been destroyed. Because, like, if cops <laughs> if cops were involved, they would have called us. Unless well, Moran said Officer he would Moran came in. Told, but... said not to. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah uh, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, we probably... We might be wanted criminals, maybe. <laughs> we, we might be homeless. We might be wanted criminals. It's uh, it's all hard to say. <laughs> I don't want to change. I my mean, name. I figure we're gonna find a way to kill him eventually. No, I mean, yeah. You can't it's... tell me the world wouldn't be better off for it. We don't need him. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, his name is Moron. How is he a benefit <laughs> to anything? Nothing. He's not. He's not. It's a public service. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, pro bono take out the public servant. <laughs> this could be why you did not pass your uh, morality class. I mean, <laughs> look here. Ethics, your ethics <laughs> class. I knew what the answers were, partially because I stole the answer key, but. <laughs> Isn't that in and of itself an ethics conundrum? Yes. Okay. I exist to be a conundrum. And you do a good job. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> if you can't confuse other people, what's the point? True. It does get kind of tiring, though. Pretending to be dumb. Yes. I think sometimes it is just a relief to be honest with people. I suppose I'm one to talk, but. <laughs> well, you know, pot kettle. <laughs> it's true. It's a good disguise, if nothing else. But like I said, exhausting. The kind of people it brings you into contact with on the regular. I don't know. Sometimes I just want to go out into the woods and never have to see people again. Amaranth has always been the people person. I'm the I'm the muscle. <laughs> yes. I I just keep thinking about that uh, the words and the the sigils and glyphs we saw in the woods, but that's that's something for another time. But I wrote some of them down. The ones on Maria's cabin. I don't know if they'll be useful, but it's worth considering some of the strongest yes. magic I've seen. <laughs> and of course, I, I still don't really know what that one did to me. So um, keep an eye on that, I suppose. But you're feeling better now? You're not feeling any worse for wear? Yeah, the fatigue's mostly gone away. Um, mm. I still feel a little tingly, um, mm -hmm. but... I don't know. Hopefully it's not nerve damage or anything. It felt kind of like electricity, mm. which is weird, but yeah. I don't know. I've never really dealt with any word that powerful before, or much less tried to alter it. But <laughs> Yeah. No, that's interesting. I wonder if um, Estella yeah, might have seen She might know. Into... Or have more insight. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to her. I don't really have any connections to the witch community in Salem or to be honest, witch communities anywhere. 
self talk. But yes, did you just stumble upon some books and start sort of doing it on your own? Um, yeah. I mean, Amarantha and I went to the same boarding school, and mm-hmm. um, I don't know how much this means to like vampires, but like I was there on scholarship, which um, it kind of put a target on my back. So I found a way to put the target on other people. She has oh, a lot that's... of people in lockers. <laughs> no, oh, that's fair. I mean, well, when people treat you badly, I mean, you do what you have to to survive. That's always have. That's how I met and I met actually, you know, like you were shoving her in a locker. No, I would never, <laughs> unless she wanted me to. Um, but no, sure. um, I was shoving somebody else in the locker, and she walked by, and it was apparently just the funniest thing she'd seen that day. <laughs> That's very sweet, though. It'd be I'd be lying to say we were fast friends after that, but it took time, a lot of time. Mm. But sure, it was worth it. And you seem to have built something really, I don't know, the foundations that you've built are strong. Not for lack of trying. Mm. I'm I'm not the easiest person to know. Mm. There's been a lot of stumbling along the way, but we eventually found, worked it out, found our way. That's fair. Yeah. Usually, if the two of you, if the two people are invested, you find the way. And we did. I mean, I'd not be invested, you know. It's only ever been her. People don't like me, usually. But she does. That's enough. No, I can sympathize. That's... <laughs> I mean, beneath the service anyways, I mean. <laughs> Egon Absolutely. floats over with his little hat and lands <laughs> on your head. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. So cute. It's Egon fully just like a breeze cat who's just <laughs> my cat fully has his like paws on my yoga ball and is screaming at me okay, he... yes hello because I said hi in the same tone of voice I used to talk to him and he was summoned <laughs> yes. oh, I, don't, I don't know how dare you any of you have seen Black Clover but I'm just <laughs> picturing when <laughs> The, the the little bird lands on top of Asta's head. <laughs> nope. Just plops Never. down. <laughs> Hi. I'll see if I can find a gif. Yes. <laughs> if he shoves his head under my hand, then I don't have to pet him because I'm already petting him. <laughs> yes. Kind of the middle man and just <laughs> yeah. demand scritches. <laughs> Actually, now that it's come up, Aurelio, when we were talking at the Red Veil, you seemed to imply um, perhaps a bit of, um, sir. Okay. <laughs> sir! <laughs> well, I haven't been called sir in a long time. <laughs> you seem to imply perhaps a little bit of um, being a bit proprietary over Vlad. I'm wondering how you feel about the whole date thing with Amarantha. I think I sort of surprised myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love him, Your Honor. <laughs> I I think I sort of surprised myself. Uh, I guess I hadn't thought of myself as a, the person to be so possessive or like uh, jealous in that way but I think maybe the idea of uh, <laughs> outsiders like I don't know does that make sense that people that we don't know encroaching on <laughs> Vladimir's person 
felt alarming in the moment. We'd had a couple of shots also. So I just, <laughs> I, I think maybe I started to realize that <laughs> it's even still hard to articulate, but like that, that my feelings hadn't gone away and maybe had grown. <laughs> You two do seem to have quite the history. We have a lot of history. <laughs> I can imagine. But I think with Amarantha, it feels different. Like, it feels like the the group of us... I, I don't know. It's It just feels different. It so. feels like someone that I know and trust. You trust easier. her intentions better than mm. a stranger's. Yes, that I, it's easier to trust Amarantha with Vlad than Linda or Stacy or whoever. I don't Estella. trust Linda or Stacy with anything. Stella. They're idiots. Um, I don't know, Stella maybe. But I don't think she's interested in him. <laughs> I, I think, do I not think, think she's interested in him either. a very long history <laughs> between vampires and witches. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, as long as you're okay with it. Just, you know, don't want anyone to get hurt. Yes, no, I I very much, and I, I, I know that you were awake, but, you know, like I said to Michael, I just, I want us all to be happy. <laughs> and I think if, it really sounds wrong saying Michael's name. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Anyways, it really sounds wrong. <laughs> but uh, I just want us all to be happy. And if being romantic or being available to each other in that way would make Amaranth and Vladimir happy, then I want them to have that. I just hope that they're not... I. <laughs> Their relationship thus far has been perhaps a bit fraught with tension. I mean, Amaranth is into that sometimes. <laughs> and that that's true. That's that's fair. So I just hope yeah. that they Where's the line on antagonizing Vlad? Can we <laughs> do I get to do that for a little bit more? Or do I have to be nice to him now? I mean, I'm gonna be nice to him, but like do I, I get some that's more like a question for you and Vlad to work out, perhaps? Okay. All relationship dynamics are a little different. Like yes. Amarantha and Vlad seem to like sniping at each other about everything, and <laughs> it works for them. Um, I mean, I personally wouldn't appreciate it if Amarantha and my relationship were like that. <laughs> Not our vibe. Yes, that's fair. I just Minor don't want them to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I don't think he'll get hurt. He's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> no, but theory. even being an adult or being an immortal hundreds of years old, it's it's still you still have feelings and I just I hope that they're being careful with each other's feelings. I think there's no real way to know that at the immediate moment. It mm -hmm. might be a wait and see kind of situation. I For mean, sure. I have complete trust in Amarantha. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I had complete trust in Vlad. I mean, um, you did just meet him two days ago. <laughs> yeah, that's not this enough time to trust somebody. That's true. Two days is nothing. Whoa. I don't think he'll hurt her on purpose. I, but he if he does, it. we'll think about it. That's all right. You you will have the trust in Amarantha, and I will have the trust in Vladimir. <laughs> I do trust you. Good, yes. and I I trust you as well. I feel like oh, thank you. even though even though it may have started on the pretense of lying about uh, unsubtly not very good lying about being a human, not a vampire. Uh, I think that it's it's been good for me to get to know you and Amarantha, and really like understand being human again yeah it's been interesting to get to know other vampires before this i only really knew lily and he's interesting <laughs> oh she's not to say 
all right it's just he's a different <laughs> kind of interesting and no for sure is he uh, one of the vampires at the red veil or no that's uh amarantha's oh. friend in yeah he's known her family for a really long time um, oh okay that's Ah, I think and, I got the names mixed up. And he's gonna be here soon. So play nice, please. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes. No, I, I always play nice. That's <laughs> easy. Easy as pie. I'm going to choose to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> but no, it's been nice living with you guys. New perspectives. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Also, you know, there's always fun finding a shared hobby and hiding bodies beneath um, rare plants so people can't dig them up. You knew about that? Where do you think the other bodies came from? <laughs> Where do you think the plants other came bodies. from? <laughs> I, I thought mean, they just grow. <laughs> okay, I garden for two reasons. One of them is to make plants that I can't find in the woods, and one of them is to plant endangered plants over bodies so no one can dig them up. <laughs> I, it's a We've good been plan, using though. the same strategy this whole fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It sort of just uh, came together like um, what would you call it? Kismet or happenstance or <laughs> serendipity. <laughs> serendipity. Yeah, serendipity. serendipity. That's hiding a good way bodies to put it. in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Shared interest of hiding bodies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, to be fair, your body count is much higher. I've only got a couple back there. It's just, Michael gets really snacky. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that you haven't gotten snacky on me, Amarantha. That would be rude. <laughs> you I live mean... with us and we like you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as you don't like kill me, it's not objectionable. I, I think generally that's object to being murdered. More <laughs> of like an emergency situation. Yeah, that's fair. Just as a heads up, if it's an emergency, don't kill me, but you have permission. I appreciate it. And if you murder me, Amarantha will fucking destroy you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Scary. She's yeah. like a fun scary. <laughs> scary. That's one way to describe her. <laughs> I like her that way. Though. Good. It's good that she has you. And good that you have her. I'm really lucky for it. Mm. She's been probably the best part of my life. That's good. I'm glad you found each other. Me too. Mm. It's been nice. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder what she and Vlad are doing right now, though. <laughs> I know. I'm really very curious. <laughs> I want I'm to know. really, really want to know. <laughs> They're probably at the bar uh, wondering if we've talked about our feelings yet. <laughs> I mean, are you going to tell them you talked about your feelings or are you going to pretend you haven't just to fuck with them? <laughs> Called out, Michael. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to have to tell them now. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that that was a suggestion because I like chaos. <laughs> I mean, maybe Should like the withhold. rest of the night. I mean, we're going to have to figure out sleeping arrangements eventually, and that's going to probably get awkward otherwise. There are two Eat beds. There's a couch. There's a non zero chance Vlad's just going to fucking leave and find his own room. So, <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, yeah, he, he can. It's not like I called the hotel and paid them to book <laughs> to not let this man Vladimir book any other rooms. That would be silly. I'd like to roll that would be silly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean... call every other hotel and do the same thing. That would be ridiculous. I mean, I oh kind of love it if you did. <laughs> Just for the pure drama of it. I just picture his face. He tries to book a room. That I'm was your happy. original plan, Michael. That you were going to sleep on the couch, or? 
they are very big beds. We could push them together and have a super big bed. One big bed. Then nobody I, gets left could. out. Nobody's left out. Well, <laughs> we should probably do that now before they get back. So if they now, can, so can nobody can object to it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> you don't even have to get off the bed. We can just together. push them together. <laughs> <laughs> just push the pens together Victoria lays on yes, it like, push them together got it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they were talking about it was like this the whole time I don't know how she was noticed. asleep it's fine <laughs> it's something to do with like the building code and uh, fire nah. code what safety stuff the beds have to be That's, together That's yeah. just the rules <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you call a double king bed a double king bed, I can't remember. Sure, that and works. Emperor bed? Uh, yeah, Ooh. emperor bed. Okay. The harem bed? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... Harem bed. Yeah, well, boy but... <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> Michael's going to try and find a way to finesse, like, the extra blankets to make a canopy so it's like a big blanket bed fort. I don't know how well that. that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing ever. So, like, there's a lamp here, and if you tie the corner on it, then we get another lamp yeah. on the other side. I mean, and like, there's this one that's on the wall, so like, you can make. It's gotta it. be a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> have to flip the couch up so we can drape it over the couch. <laughs> Tori is already a fire hazard, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sleep arson. <laughs> Sleep arson. <laughs> it's only done that like three times. It's, it's fine. fine. There's nothing at all. It's not how our dorm burnt down at all. <laughs> we can go you get a lamp from it. another room. Like the, the the locks aren't gonna stop us. It's a hotel. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just open the door. <laughs> no one knock and ask if we could borrow the lamp too. <laughs> I just break in. That's more fun. Oh, exactly. Can you imagine like a bunch of weirdos knocking on your hotel room, being like, "Hey, borrow the lamp." <laughs> Need it for a blanket for yes. Unhinged. Please leave me alone. Here it is. <laughs> Please go and never come back. Oh my god! Leave me. No. Leave me. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I imagine after a while they do manage to get something resembling a blanket for a pill. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. For adults. That's yeah, sure. That's why not? Amazing. I'm not going to stop this. <laughs> So, was it uh, Vlad and Amarantha are like three martinis in? Four? Yep. <laughs> Amarantha's, yeah, because we're staggering going up because we know that they take a long time to talk about their feelings. <sighs> so long. But she gave the letter to the dude before she started okay. getting sloshed. And then <laughs> get that letter out. And, yeah. and she's just like, why don't you like yourself, dude? Like, why would you think Whoa. that you don't have a reason to be liked? Oh, straight for the jugular. <laughs> yep. She had some martinis. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Why would you feel that way, Vlad? <laughs> I'm trying to approach this from a drunk mind. Um, yes. <laughs> quick, yes. go chug a bottle of wine. Yes. <laughs> shots, shots. Um, uh, I. I don't dislike myself. It's more about what someone someone like you would see in someone like me. Can you expound on that? Just expand. No. Expand I'm not on that. Sure I can. <laughs> um we're just very different people, Amarantha. You think you're we're that what, different? You're what, 20, 24, 24? Do you want what my license says or my birth certificate? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, I, I want what, what you say. I'm 24, yes. Okay, yeah, I'm 24. I'm <laughs> 42 according to mortal and i am not in your business sphere i'm not in your similar interests it's just similar interests 
I, I would know, say you'll... you and I have the most common interests of any of us in the flat. What do you think my interests are? Well, you like wine. You clearly like travel, fancy clothes. <laughs> I get the idea that um, you're organized. <laughs> Believe mm-hmm. it or not, we have more in common than you think. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you like to cook. Aurelio can't even cook. Yes, he is. Um... <laughs> I don't Several think other cooked. merits. Well, yes, of course, but I'm just saying that. <laughs> no, I, uh, you asked me and I answered. All right, fair enough. We'll ignore the fact that uh, I'm definitely getting vibes of you not liking parts of yourself. Hmm. Isn't there always something about yourself that you don't like? You like every single yes. part of yourself? Yep. Mm. That's a um, blessed I wouldn't say life. I like it, but I love every part of myself. Even the parts that sometimes can cause me to cause chaos or difficulties or make things dramatic. It's a part of who I am. Okay. I wouldn't change it. That's good. It's good to embrace yourself like that. If I don't, who will? Sounds like Tori. Yeah. Maybe Michael. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, it yes. But I mean if we don't love the parts of ourselves that maybe are the less desirable ones like it or at least accept them and see value in them we spend a long time wallowing in those feelings of uh, self-loathing and It causes us to become blind to other things and maybe do things that might unintentionally hurt people. Hmm. Maybe sometimes we're imposing standards on people that we don't realize that we're doing because those are the standards we have for ourselves. And maybe we're, we criticize people for the things that we don't like about ourselves. Maybe. Maybe. Or. Or. Unless. Unless. <clears throat> I, I I do think that's a very positive way of looking at things. And I don't think that is necessarily invalid. But... Maybe you look at these things and you see those parts of yourselves that are imperfect and you don't love them, but you accept them. Mm -hmm. You don't like them, but you take them. Mm -hmm. And someday you find somebody who does love them. Maybe. If you're lucky, but you know, it's just thoughts. (laughs) It's just thoughts. It's just thoughts about life. All just thoughts. Just having a clear picture of yourself and accepting what your weaknesses and strengths are. It's valuable. Do you have to love them to accept them? Not necessarily, but Hmm. hurt people hurt people. Maybe.
just musings from a drunk redhead in a bar, mm-hmm. in a hotel mm-hmm. bar, wearing yep. slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it inappropriate to ask about your mother? No. And what do you want to know? You said that she met Louis mm-hmm. and she understood vampires. Mm-hmm. How many other vampires did she meet? Oh, geez, I don't. That's a. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my father's business kind of specialized in helping vampires create money trails to legitimize their fortunes. Um, so mm-hmm. lots, but um, I, I'm. They tried to keep me separate from that a little bit, but I think that. Out of like a place of love and wanting to protect me, but it's not. That's not how life works. We can't compartmentalize as much as we'd like to. Things bleed through. Hmm. And you sort of picked up on this passion from them? Yeah. Do you have any contact with your old family? My old family? Your parents are gone. Yeah. What about beyond that? Mm-hmm. I have grandparents. I see them a couple times a year. On my dad's side, my mom was an orphan, so I don't know where her family is. Hmm. I guess I'm just not as altruistic as you. I keep looking for some other reason, some meaning, something else besides cooperation, besides empathy. What greater reason is there for things than love? Love for people you don't know? Yeah. Love for people you haven't met? Sure. Love for people you've never any chance of meeting? Sure. That's... Idealistic. (laughs) That's... I I think is something worth fighting for, Amarantha. I mean, everybody has the right to live, I think, and everybody has the right to pursue happiness and to love and to, I don't know, live an authentic life. I mean, when we look at the queer community, how much damage has been done by staying in the closet and having a society that's not receptive to it, you know? We're only as sick as our secrets. Hmm. Yes, but if you, there's so much complications around that, isn't there? If you absolutely, if they had pushed sooner, if there was sure a fight before its time, it might have been snuffed out before anything could happen. Sometimes you just have to put your faith in things. Yes, idealistic. (laughs) Well, I'm not saying don't prepare and be systematic and pragmatic about it. But yes, I'm a weird combination of an absolute idealist and a pragmatist. And it doesn't have to make sense. I've come to peace with that. I don't think that's a bad thing. 
like, yes, put your faith in things, but also stack the chips. Yes. Practical. <laughs> yes. It's all about balance. So with this whole rebellion, <sighs> where do you find yourself? So conflicted. I, they don't have a plan. It's, it's anxiety provoking. I need them to get their shit together. Um, but I mean, I would I do it through a protest? And so, uh, no. I think that a systematic approach of infiltration of the the elders would be a better. Okay. Way to do it, but. I think that I don't have those contacts. I mean, my business contacts tend to be younger vampires, some older, but not very many, mostly progressive. Anybody who would deal in business with humans, you know? Yes. I know. I'm just saying, I don't know that they've fully thought things through. I think that there's a lot to be gained. And I think that Salem has potential because of the witch presence there. If they're dead set on doing this, and Bellamy's going to take out the region anyways. Blake? Blake. Samuel. That is the name he gave you, is it yes. not? Yes. Well... Seeing that letter that I gave you is delivered when I hope it to be. Um, we'll see what we have as far as the elders go. What was in the letter, Vlad? <laughs> A uh, response to the message that was sent to me. Mm. Did you take a side? No, I never do. Why not? I have a lot more to think about than just myself. Hmm. Okay. No judgments, I'm just curious. Should we go see what they're up to? Yes. They might need some good. wrangling. <laughs> yes. Okay. As you're heading upstairs, Amarantha, your phone rings. And oh. the contact shows that it's Toby. I answer the phone immediately. Toby. Uh, hey, uh, so we've got a problem. Well, I mean, I guess you've got a problem. And I think that's where we'll end tonight's session. No! Charlie. Charlie. Want it to be mean today. No. <laughs> we, uh, I mean, it's because we took everything from you, right? You were barely. <laughs> yeah. I will be here has been a week. I don't get to know for so long. Charlie has been very mean the last couple of sessions. I know. <laughs> you broke down Vlad's car. Now <laughs> this cliffhanger. <laughs> this. This. Well, next week, I don't think we're even doing that. because No, we we're not. A wine <laughs> tasting. Mm. So everyone gets to wait two weeks. Come on, tell us the text. <laughs> tell us the text. Tell us the tell phone us call. the text. Uh, yes. Tell Parish. us, tell us, tell us. No, I'll make Should you a little hat. Make it? <laughs> Maria will make you hat. a hat. A hat. <laughs> and mail it to you. Ooh, it's hats, an Egon hats, heart I love it. I love it. I'll make you so a good. D twenty with the phases of the moon on it. Ooh. <laughs> And a hat to go on the D20. That's what yes. the hat's for. I can draw the moon faces, I think. Yes. I don't. <laughs> We're never going to get an answer. Oh, uh, you will. Eventually. You'll find out. Maria, cancel all your plans next week. <laughs> Leave me up. <laughs> Quit your job, Maria. <laughs> 
no, bloody. <laughs> Mandy! That was a mistake. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for joining us. <laughs> Ugh. I'm. I will accept all of your hateful and angry comments now. Uh, <laughs> all of the knife emojis. Ah! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all of the pain and and hate and aggravation. <laughs> it flat burned down, didn't it? It burned down. Mm-hmm. Shit, my stuff was in there. It brought the cadaver dogs. That's even worse. How? Do- Shit. Shit. This is causing a big Somebody. problem in the continuity of bonus episodes. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Oh, actually, we will need to know that for the. <laughs> We're just gonna have to kind of make them out of universe, and like, well, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. We've already had Vlad's birthday, where mention of the flat and. Uh, his studio apartment were made. We rebuilt and the, it. And the Ren Fair, where Aurelio's mm-hmm. stuff is in the flat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That mysterious box. Was so this things. comes afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On it's out of the universe. <laughs> don't think about we it. Tried. Much, okay? oh, it's fine. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> think about it. We were never getting an answer. Timey, whiny. <laughs> Look at Charlie. We were never getting an answer. No, no. Charlie no, you were. Like, you just did a lot of emotional talking tonight. So I was like, okay. Oh wait! Oh, curse wait. our emotions. <laughs> we had a lot of feelings. You Charlie. get your feelings. I get my secrets. Oh, <laughs> no. Notes, Charlie. I Did had somebody fill the things flat with I needed I to took do. A note. <laughs> it's a possibility. Where are my notes. <laughs> I wrote down ghost partner, and then I drew a ghost in a cowboy hat. Yes. <laughs> <Those are laughs> very yes. Important I'm going to come back to this in two weeks and be like, what? <laughs> I wrote fine. down blue crystal and renewal and cleansing. And that's <laughs> I go love back this further notes. woman in Boston. <laughs> I wrote man bun. I have some notes, but I also wrote Aurelio equals Little Mermaid. Something so funny. <laughs> it's always that. Just it's always the most. <laughs> If we don't dress it. him up as the Little Mermaid for Halloween, I'm going to run. Damage. Riot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, <laughs> you can find Lee and Jenna on Abstract Adventures wherever you get your podcasts. They mm-hmm. In your pocket, you can take them on the go and Whatever enjoy a are. cool show. Podcast pocket. <laughs> Fucking podcast. Uh, oh, bye bye. Please. <laughs> <Bye. laughs>